What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to graph a system of quadratic inequalities, all right? So here are our two inequalities that we're gonna graph, and then we're gonna see where on the graph they both kind of intersect, or their graphs intersect, and that's gonna be our solution, all right? So let's uh, just start from the beginning. That's always a good point. So uh, let's graph this first equation right here. So y is less than negative x squared plus three, all right? So the first thing you wanna do here is just change your inequality symbol to an equal sign, all right? So here we really have uh, y is equal to negative x squared plus three. Okay, so this is what we're gonna graph first. Uh, now this is kind of a simple enough equation where we can just make a little x, y table and plot some points and see what this equation poops out on the other end, all right? So for x, let's plug in just some easy numbers here. So let's plug in negative one, zero, and positive one. All right, so first of all, if we plug in a negative one for x right here, this is gonna be uh, y is equal to negative, and then uh, x, again, is gonna be negative one, so let's plug in a negative one right there, squared plus three. So then this is equal to, let's see, negative one squared is equal to positive one, and then positive one times negative is negative one, right? So negative one plus three, is equal to positive two, all right? So then we get a two right there. So one point on our parabola is negative one, two. So negative one, two, okay, right there. Uh, the next point right here is zero. So if we plug in a zero right here for x, we're gonna get negative zero squared, which is just zero. So then we get that y is equal to zero plus three, which is just three, right? So we can just plug in a three right there. So zero, three is right there. And then lastly, if we plug in a one, uh, we're gonna get that y is equal to negative, and then we're gonna plug in a one for x right there, squared plus three. One squared is one, so this negative sign times one is just negative one. So this is equal to negative one plus three, which again is equal to two, all right? So one, two, all right? So one, two, right there, okay? So it looks like this is our vertex right here at 0, 3, and then these are our two other points, right? So we can just kind of go down like so. Okay, and sorry, this should be a little more curvy. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, cool. So now that the parabola is graphed, the next thing we need to do is figure out if the, the parabola should be solid like it is right now or if we have to dash these lines. And the way that you do that is just by looking at the original inequality up here, okay? So as you can see, uh, the inequality symbol is just a less than symbol, right? If you have a less than symbol or a greater than symbol, then this is gonna be dashed, okay? But if you have a uh, less than or equal to symbol or a greater than or equal to symbol, right? If you see the equal to symbol attached, then it's gonna be solid like it is right now, okay? But here, obviously, we just have this less than symbol, so that means this is gonna be dashed. Nice, all right, so now our parabola is dashed, right? So that's looking good. Okay, now the last thing that we have to do here is simply shade either the outside of our parabola or the inside of the parabola. And the way that you figure that out is just by testing uh, a random point, just literally anywhere on the graph. And the one I usually like to test is the origin, right here at zero comma zero. All right, so let's write that out, zero comma zero. Okay, so we're gonna plug this point into our inequality right here. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in a uh, zero for my x and my y right here. So we're gonna plug in a zero here for the x and the y, all right? So uh, here we're gonna get that zero is less than negative and then x again is zero squared plus three, all right? So then here we get zero is less than, here this just goes to zero, so we're just left with this positive three right there. Okay, so here we get zero is less than three. Is this a true statement? Yes, it is, right? Zero is definitely smaller than three. Okay, so that means the point that we tested, this one right here, zero comma zero, this is a solution to the inequality, okay? And as you can see, the point that we tested is on the inside of the parabola. So in this case, we wanna shade the inside of the parabola because that's where all our solutions are. Okay, cool. So now that we have that one graphed, the last thing we have to do is just uh, go through those st same steps again and just graph uh, this second inequality. Okay, so here you can see we have y is greater than or equal to x squared plus two x minus three. 
Okay, so again, the first thing is just changing your inequality symbol to an equal sign, right? So y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3. All right, so now this is what we're going to graph. And there's a bunch of different ways we could actually graph this. Uh, one way we can uh, graph this is by factoring this and finding the zeros, okay? So if we factor x squared plus 2x minus 3, we can break that down into, let's see, x squared, we can break down into x times x, and then we need two numbers over here, right? They have to add up to this middle number, positive two, but when you multiply them, they have to multiply to negative three. So in this case, we can use, uh, let's see, a positive three and a negative one. Okay, and to solve uh, for these x values, you just need to set each set of parentheses equal to zero, right? So x plus three is equal to zero, and this other one, x minus one is equal to zero. So on top here we have x is equal to negative three, and down here we have x is equal to positive one. Okay, so what we just found right here are the zeros of the parabola. These are the two points where our parabola touches the x-axis. So at negative three and positive one, right? Negative three and positive one. Okay, now the kind of nice thing of finding the x-intercepts is that it's easy to figure out where the vertex is, at least where the x-coordinate of the vertex is, okay? Because it's always gonna be exactly in between these two, all right? So uh, I have negative three right here, I have positive one right here, so the vertex of the parabola is gonna be somewhere along this negative one, where x is equal to negative one right here, right? Because negative one is directly in the middle between negative three and positive one, okay? So I know my x-coordinate is equal to negative one. Uh, and let's get rid of some of this, make a little room. Okay, so again, my x-coordinate is equal to negative one. Now, to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, all you need to do is plug this back into uh, this equation, but remember we need to have the equal sign, right? So we're gonna have y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3. All right, so let's just plug in our x right there and see what it poops out for y. So we're gonna get that y is equal to negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 uh, minus 3. So we get that y is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 3, which again is equal to negative 4. All right, so then the y coordinate of our vertex is right here at negative 4. So the vertex is at negative 1, negative 4. All right, so negative 1, negative 4 right here. Okay, so I have my three points. So now I can just play connect the dots like so. All right, that looks pretty good. Cool, so now that our parabola is graphed, uh, the next thing we need to do is figure out if this should be a solid line or a dashed line. Again, to figure that out, just look at your original inequality right here. So you can see it's a greater than or equal to symbol. We have our equal to uh, right there, so that means it should be a solid line, all right? So we're gonna leave it just like that, okay? Now, the last thing we need to do is just figure out if we have to shade on the inside of the parabola or on the outside, right? And to do that, we, again, just need to test a single point. And the single point that I'm gonna test again is this one right here at the origin. So zero comma zero, zero comma zero, all right? So we're gonna plug in a zero for x and y into our inequality right here and see if it's true or not, okay? So here we're gonna get that zero is a greater than or equal to uh, zero squared plus two times zero minus three. So then we get zero is greater than or equal to that goes to zero, that goes to zero, so we just get minus three, all right? Is this a true statement? Is zero greater than or equal to negative three? Yes, it is, right? So that means the point that we tested is, uh, it was on the inside of the parabola, so that means all the points inside this region are real solutions. Okay, great, so now that we have our two parabolas graphed, the last thing to do is just figure out where our two regions intersect. So you can see that that would be this region right here, right? This is the region right here in green that both of these parabolas have in common, right? So this space right here is where all your solutions lie that are solutions to both of these inequalities. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. 
And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.